Dr. Gerhard Tonhauser joins me now. He is the chairman and CEO of TDE, Austrian-based company, but doing business right around the world. Tell us about the advantages of the data collection that you actually look after. The data that we use, Sensor Data Rigs, allows us to give factual and accurate data of the performance of drilling rigs. That makes the difference. What you can measure, you can improve. And when we're looking at the measurement now, this has really been a big change and a big shift really in the you know, past few years. And it's, it's, it's that data, the, the, the information there, the, the detail that's there, it's, it's unbelievable. Something we've never really seen 20 years ago, 10 years ago. It's a lot of data. The data was there for a long time. It just has not been touched. So now that is the difference that we make. We process the data and we make it consumable in the sense that we present it, that you can derive cost savings from it. What are your customers looking for? I mean, it's been a tough time out there in the industry for the last few years. So people you've been talking to, what do they want from you? The first question is quality-based information about the performance of the machines they use. So it's quality control, it's accurate, objective information to make judgments, to rank rig, to rank, rank rig crews, to manage how you need to improve them, how you need to train them. And then when that data is in place and what they can do with it, many companies are using it, but then there's an awful lot more companies I hear that are still to use it and it could really turn around efficiency in their business tremendously. Yeah, it's, it's a change the way you do work, so it takes time. Yeah? You have to be patient because when you have this information, you have to act. And this translation from just seeing information to make it factual on the rig, change the way people behave, takes a little bit of time. So effectively, we're in a people's business. And again, getting access to that information so quickly is the industry, as you say then, are they ready to act? They might want to act, but actually, if this data took long to collect in the past and they can get it instantly now, I mean, in real term, are they actually prepared and do they have the manpower and the tools and the technology that end do something about it? I'm convinced they have the manpower. They need a little bit of coaching, typically in the beginning, to get this way of thinking into the, into the people. It's a bit like uh, Formula One. Yeah? It's precision, it's, it's uh, consistency and this will to perform. And that can be established everywhere uh, with the necessary management support and the team supporting this. So are we learning something in the oil industry from, from other industries? You talk about the lean manufacturing industry and that, and again, it's something that people have been saying this is sometimes a very conservative industry, maybe slow to move. Tell us a little bit where you think that the change is coming. The change is coming now because it's driven by cost. We have no alternative anymore. We have to be able to work with $30, $35 oil, that's my opinion. So whoever achieves the goal to save, to be fit for this type of market, is going to be here for a long time. Um, now this conference here, the ATCE, first time ever in the Gulf. Um, they were very proud to actually bring it here, of course. How has it been in terms of the people you're seeing here? You know, is it a, for you, how important is it that such a big international conference is actually here? I think it's a monumental step for SPE. I'm a member for 27 years, yeah, that they came here, yeah, and I think it has to be repeated. The reception was great, yeah, we had a lot of good meetings, and uh, I think it was the step to do, yeah.